Gosh, that looks drab. Time to brighten things up a bit. That's exactly the color I had in mind myself. And that one. And that one too. Gee, we really are like-minded. Because we are keen to enjoy the vibrant colors for some time to come, we have opted for a durable facade film. This is a hard-wearing, high-quality cast film, which is ideal for use as a replacement for paint or applications where painting is sometimes not an option. This film can be conveniently applied to facing panels, doors and frames, and it can even be manufactured in the customer's choice of colors. Although the cleaning crew has already scrubbed the panels, it is important to give the surface a final cleaning using Avery Flat Surface Cleaner. Then dry it with a lint-free cloth. It's advisable to measure a panel and roughly cut the film to size in advance. The panels may all look the same size, but could be slightly different. Cut the film to size, leaving an excess of approximately 5 cm. This will ensure that it is not too small. The excess can be easily trimmed following application. For these flat panels, we'll demonstrate the wet application technique first. The advantage of wet application is that you can easily reposition the film and apply it without trapping air bubbles or temporary squeegee traces. Please note, however, that wet application is only suitable for flat or very slightly curved surfaces. Furthermore, the method is not suitable for all types of film, as it takes longer to achieve optimum adhesion. For obvious reasons, it's not advisable to use this technique near freezing conditions. Spray water onto the panel and the one adjacent, then place the film with the backing material in contact with the panel. Detach one edge of the backing and spray water onto the exposed film. Gradually remove the backing, wetting the entire adhesive side as you proceed. Lift the film together with your colleague, turn it over and apply it to the panel. As you will see, you can now move the film around very easily. Once you have maneuvered the film into position, you can expel the water from beneath it using your squeegee. Make smoothing motions from the middle towards the sides and top and bottom edges to prevent the water from penetrating beneath the film again. When you notice that the film is no longer sufficiently wet for your squeegee to pass over smoothly, apply water with the spray once more. Continue to squeegee until you have expelled all the water from beneath the film. Firmly smooth out all corners and edges once more to ensure optimum adhesion. Trim the excess film, cut out the corners and finish them neatly. Apply the film around the edges and warm them using the heat gun to relieve any tension created during the application process. Dry application of this film is of course also possible. Place the film on the surface. Secure it using masking tape, then detach part of the backing. Attach the film to the surface gradually rolling off the backing as you proceed. Do not worry about the film extending beyond the edges, as we shall deal with that in due course. Smoothly apply the film onto the surface using your squeegee. Smooth it out in a vertical motion, starting from the side where the film is already attached, as this prevents the formation of seams and air bubbles. Trim the excess film using your Avery cutter, then smooth the film onto the panel.
cut out the corners and finish them neatly. Should the application require an overlap, we shall now show you different methods of doing so. First, apply a piece of film to the panel as previously shown. Trim off the excess film and stick down the edges securely. Cut away the film where the overlap is to be made using a ruler. Avoid damaging the surface of the panel by using the correct cutting technique. This depends on the choice of material and the surface to which it is applied. Further information on cutting techniques may be found in the Academy's theory modules. Now take the second piece of film and place it on the panel. Also cut it away where the overlap is to be made using a ruler. Firmly press down on the overlap with your finger to ensure adequate adhesion. You may also opt to apply the film with an overlap of several millimeters. Place the film on the panel, detach a strip of the backing and smooth out the film, attaching it to the entire surface. Trim off the excess and stick down the edges securely. Measure out the overlap and mark off the top and bottom. Apply the second piece of film using your markers and firmly secure it too. You will see that the two pieces of film neatly overlap in the middle. When sections of a film need to overlap, you need to make sure the overlapping edges are not visible from the main direction of view. It is not inconceivable that a panel becomes damaged over time. In that case, you can simply remove the film and apply a new piece. Begin by heating the film at one corner of the panel. Once the film is sufficiently pliable, start detaching it from the corner. You can use a steamer to heat the film on large surfaces. Apply the steamer for a few seconds, then detach the film from the surface. Once you've removed all of the old film, you can simply apply a new piece as previously shown in this video. Now that we've covered all of the panels, we're going to proceed to restyle the steel lift doors by applying an attractive print to add the finishing touch. For this outdoor application, we've chosen a printable cast film with a protective glossy over laminate. This combination is highly durable and may last for many years depending on the prevailing climate and the position of the graphics. One door has already been done and we are now going to show you how to do the other. Place the film on the door using your magnets, then fold back a strip of the backing. Cut off this piece of backing with your snitty and fold back the film, securing it in place. Smooth out the top edge, attaching the film and carefully making cuts wherever necessary. Once the top edge is securely attached, you can start to carefully detach the remainder of the backing, smoothing the film in place from top to bottom as you proceed. Simply stick the film over the windows and handles initially, though not smoothing the film securely but leaving it loosely attached at the edges. Carefully assess exactly where the film needs to be stuck down or cut loose. Always use sharp blades and replace them regularly. Carefully cut away the film around the edges of the window, removing the excess covering the glass.
Replace the edge of the film around the window and smooth until secure. That looks absolutely marvellous and it will last for years. Well done.